Lenten Devotion for March 9th. A reading from Exodus, chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. The whole congregation of the Israelites set out from Elam, and Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after they had departed from the land of Egypt. The whole congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way I will test them whether they will follow my instruction or not. On the sixth day, when they prepare what they bring in, it will be twice as much as they gather on other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening you shall know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your complaining against the Lord. For what are we that you complain against us? And Moses said, When the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening and your fill of bread in the morning, because the Lord has heard the complaining that you utter against him, what are we? Your complaining is not against us, but against the Lord. For Reflection Do you ever complain? Do you ever complain to God? After a month and a half in the wilderness, the Israelites are hungry. They complain to their leaders, Moses and Aaron, who tell them their complaining is against the Lord. When they first see the manna from heaven, they say to one another, what is it? Verse 15, a question which is the translation of the Hebrew word manna. Perhaps at first sight they were skeptical, even though it turns out to taste like wafers made from honey, verse 31. A characteristic trait of Jewish tradition is being emotionally honest with God, even when angry and complaining. That is a sign of strong faith and a healthy relationship. One thinks of Tevya in Fiddler on the Roof. Why are you doing this to me, God? Why am I burdened with bills to pay, with poor health, with wayward children, and on and on? Or perhaps, why am I hungry? Why are my children hungry? Why are there so many hungry people in the world? In our Lenten prayers, we can bring our true feelings to God. God's response may not be as immediate as in today's passage. It might be silence while God waits for us to do something. But listen and look carefully. The response may not be what we expect, and it may come from an unanticipated direction. What is it? And sometimes unburdening leads to insight and action.